Welcome to the Port City Culinary Competition, where the air is thick with the aroma of sautéed garlic and fresh herbs. The kitchen is a hive of activity, with chefs barking orders and pots clanging, all under the harsh glare of overhead lights. The audience is a sea of anticipation, unaware of the impending tragedy. At 2.15 p.m., a scream pierces the air, drawing all eyes to the pantry. Clara Voss, a seasoned food critic, finds herself thrust into a new role as she pushes through the crowd. On the cold tile floor lies Marco De Luca, a chef known for his fiery temper. His flamboyant jacket is stained crimson, a stark contrast to the sterile kitchen. Detective Harris arrives, his presence commanding as he orders the area secured. Officers move with precision, cordoning off the scene. Clara, caught in the chaos, notices Lila Chen, the sous chef, trembling. The competition has turned deadly, and Clara feels the pull of the investigation, determined to uncover the truth. Detective Harris's eyes scan the scene with practiced scrutiny, noting every detail. The knife, still embedded in Marco's side, glints ominously under the fluorescent lights. Officers move methodically, collecting evidence and ensuring the scene remains undisturbed. Clara stands back, observing the unfolding investigation. Her eyes meet Lila Chen's, the sous chef's petite frame trembling with fear and shock. The professional dynamics are palpable as the team works seamlessly, each member knowing their role. Forensic tools are laid out, ready for analysis. The procedural accuracy is evident in every movement, from the careful collection of fingerprints to the meticulous documentation of the scene. Clara's mind races, piecing together the fragments of the day, her instincts guiding her through the chaos. The tension is palpable, each moment bringing them closer to the truth. In the dimly lit interrogation room, the atmosphere is tense. Detective Harris sits across from Lila Chen, his questions probing, each one designed to unravel the truth. Lila's nervousness is evident, her hands fidgeting as she struggles to maintain composure. Clara watches from the observation room, her insight sharp as she listens to the exchange. The detective's questions are precise, each one a step closer to uncovering the motive behind the crime. Evidence is revealed, piece by piece, painting a picture of ambition and jealousy. The procedural dialogue is clear, each word carefully chosen to elicit a response. Emotional undercurrents run deep, the weight of the situation pressing down on everyone involved. As the case progresses, Clara's determination grows, her resolve to find justice unwavering. The truth is within reach, and the tension builds with each passing moment.